of the Jewish community, as well as others who will speak to this terrible, terrible hate crime that took place on Sunday, where swastikas were placed on stores directly across the street. This is part of a disturbing trend where these swastikas have been placed on stores and other locations throughout New York City. We have seen a rash of anti-Semitic instances over the course of the last 90 days. We come here today to ask New Yorkers for help in tracking down the people who are spewing this hate. And we're also telling the NYPD's hate crime unit that we are involved we are committed to stopping this trend of hatred that goes against everything this city believes in. On October um, 14th, two anti-Semitic letters were sent to the Jewish Theological Seminary in Manhattan. An 11 4 equal graffiti was found on multiple sidewalks in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. On 11 12, multiple cars set on fire and defaced with anti-Semitic graffiti in Midwood, Brooklyn. On 11-16-11, a Brooklyn subway station for Avenue J defaced with Avenue Jew graffiti. On 11-22, a man was stabbed on the F train subway platform by two men who shouted anti-Semitic slurs. On 11-28-11, on anti-Semitic graffiti painted on wheelchair, windshield of a car in Marine Park, Brooklyn. 11-26, SWAT sticker found squirreled on Williamsburg Building, the second of its kind in nine days. On January 4th, three violent attacks against Orthodox Jews in Midwood, including the mugging of a prominent rabbi. On 1912, four swastikas tickets found squirreled on Midtown business storefronts right across the street. We've had enough, and we're here to mobilize. Good afternoon. We're here today. Uh, first, I want to thank the borough president for bringing everybody together to say that this incident is not only, although it happened across the street in New York City, it touches everybody and all New Yorkers. And we're coming here today to say uh, we are not going to tolerate this. Although we are a, a community and we're united, when it comes to hate crime, we'll be even stronger because hate crime against one faith is a hate crime to all of us. I want to thank also the hate crime unit with NYPD under the Commissioner of Kelly's leadership for trying its best to uh, get the perpetrators. And again, I want to thank all the leaders for coming out and denouncing this hate crime. Uh, this is the worst symbol of hate uh, known to mankind and perfectly directed at the Jewish people as act of anti-Semitism. We won't stand for it. We stand together. We speak together. But the ADL also wants to back up its words today uh, by also offering a $2,500 reward um, for anyone who brings information that leads to the arrest of those who made those swastikas appear across the street in four storefronts um, just this past Saturday night and Sunday. Have the police morning. said anything about the video footage? Did they get anything across the street? There are cameras? Not yet. As you know, there's a serious ongoing investigation, and obviously we look forward to, to hearing what they have to say. Do you think the NYPD and the hate crimes unit is doing enough to respond I think to that, I issues? think they're very effective, and even more importantly, I think that the respect that this community has for Commissioner Kelly and the Hate Crimes Unit, uh, I think is very encouraging. We will work collaboratively with the NYPD. Again, as Borough President, I would like to see more statistical data about 2011 hate crime statistics because I think it helps us interact with the police and work with the community to figure out uh, if we're doing everything we can. But no, this is very much us being simpatico with the NYPD.